Bowman here at BW1.com and we're going to take a look at the Skyfire web browser for your Windows mobile device. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is obviously you need to download it. I'm going to provide the link to the website at skyfire.com where you can download the link. They have three different ways of downloading the software. I'm also going to include it in the Bowman Pack which is my free collection of uh, Windows mobile apps that I like to have on my device. So once you've downloaded it and have gotten on your um, on your um, device here. If you're not sure how to get the uh, file on your device, watch my drag and drop tutorial video. Shows you how to do it there. And once you've done that, we want to click on the cab, cab file here and install it. You want to install it to your device. Once it's done, it's set up there. So um, you'll see install Skyfire home screen in the search bar. So if you're not using TouchFlow and you just want using the standard today screen, you can install that. But for this case, we're not going to put that on. And it's going to say it was installed successfully. Do you want to launch? We'll launch it right away. It loads up pretty quick, and you just got to accept the agreements. It's going to ask you to accept the data services. Make sure that you know that you'll be charged with data if you don't have an unlimited plan. And the browser will load up. Okay, once you load up the Skyfire web browser, you'll be presented here with sort of this um, home page here. And on the home page here, you, you have a uh, bunch of different feeds down here um, at the bottom give you some a little bit of an RSS news feed that you can scroll through here and here at the top you have your bookmarks it's gonna come with some preloaded already click the tab you got YouTube Hula and, and stuff like that if you have you know social sections you got Facebook Bebo Twitter photo bucket things like that you can also go to your uh, history tab here and view any of the previous sites that you've gone on and um, if you look here at the top, it says uh, log in or create account. If you log, if you create an account with Skyfire, the nice thing about that is it allows you to synchronize your bookmarks and your cookies, so you can easily transfer your, your uh, stuff between phones, your your bookmarks, and all your files and all your saved uh, data between the saved browser data between phones, and you can participate in the forums as well. That's a cool thing about signing up, and there's some more stuff as well. All right, so we'll hit the home page here. And you can actually customize this home page as well. So what you see down here at the bottom is the only thing you, you, you can uh, put on it. If you hit customize, you can add your login to Facebook and Twitter. You can add different news um, news feeds, such as Dig, Google News, ESPN, different feeds and media. And you just have to all you have to do is click once to deactivate them. If they're not activated, you click them once again. And it'll activate back up, and you can put custom feeds right here that aren't that aren't already listed. So once you've done that, click close here. You can go to the back, and it'll save and it'll save all your settings. And then here at the bottom, at the bottom here at the bottom row, you have your menu. I mean, uh, your menu section, which gives you navigation, actions, different shares, settings, and stuff like that as well. You can cancel back. This is your back right here. And if you want to go to a web page, you just click the top here where it says enter search or URL. So we just click on that. Click on the, on the bottom to open the virtual keyboard. And you click, let's go to BW1. And I'll start to try and guess where you're going. BW1.com has figured it out. And we'll click go. load of progression at the bottom it's really quick bam there it is right there and this gives you a little how to zoom if you're using a if you're not using a touch a touch screen phone if you're using like a Windows mobile um, smartphone that doesn't have a touch screen or a series uh, 60 Nokia phone you'll need to use the, the d-pad and stuff like that that works on here as well but um, obviously with touch screen phone you're gonna need a touch screen and it renders the site and it renders it really well and really quick as you can see here you see my site and all you have to do is Double click in to zoom in. Double click to zoom out. You also have an, an, an advanced zoom if you hit here at the top. This little plus and minus. You can zoom in as close as you want. Zoom back out. And right next to that, you have your home button to go back to home. That's your back button. And if you want to hide this top bar, just click that button right there. And it hides it. It brings you to full screen mode. And you can bring it back as easily as that. And just to show you, it does really quickly switch to landscape mode so if you want to see the whole thing in a uh, landscape pretty quickly it hides this top bar here which is kind of weird but you can um, 
click menu, you can hit, hit web search and it'll bring it back up again so you can um, type in another URL if you want to. So the nice thing about um, Skyfire is that it supports Flash. So if we go into one of these links here, HTC Touch Pro uh, video, pretty sure I have a uh, Flash video in there. Just go on there, scroll down to the bottom and you actually have a flash video. If you click on it, it'll start playing the flash right there for you, right embedded into the website. And you have this little sound um, but button that pops up so you can turn the sound off or on. Wait until it loads up. And there you go, you have flash support. And what it looks like I already clicked over to YouTube. Please go to the YouTube page here. Go to the home page. Show you that it supports all the flash elements as well. So you, you can get the flash on YouTube and certain flash elements on the web page as well to support. So that right there is the Skyfire web browser. It, it it's definitely faster than Opera, the Opera browser that's built into the Touch Pro and built into most Windows Mobile. Uh, um, Pro 6 Pro devices. Um, definitely has a lot of added features which you can add your feeds to it. Um, like I said, it loads really fast. You can go from landscape to portrait mode very quickly. Um, there's a whole lot of good about it. I definitely recommend downloading. I remember using this a little while before when it was in private beta and it was uh, and it was pretty good, but it was it has little bugs in it here and there. But they worked all that out, and it's fast and it's smooth. And I definitely recommend it over the Opera web browser right now if you have that built into your phone. I would definitely download the Skyfire browser and go for it and give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Post to the post to the to the YouTube um, video right here. Just post your comments here. Also post your comments on bw1.com as well. You know, talk about it. Let's just see what people think about it. I think the Skyfire browser is really hot. Let me know if you think the same. So. This is Bone from BW1.com reminding you to follow follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash BW1.com. That's BW1, BW1, D-O-T-C-O-M, BW1.com spelled out. Also follow RSS feed. You can subscribe right on the website. Subscribe right into your Google Reader, whichever one you want to use. Make sure you subscribe to our RSS feed. And also, remember to live your tech world in high definition.